Thank you for tuning in to Get to Know NARIC. This presentation will introduce or reintroduce you to the National Rehabilitation Information Center, or NARIC, a repository and resource center focusing on disability, independent living, and rehabilitation. NARIC started as a small library focused on collecting the work of the projects funded by the National Institute on Disability, Independent Living, and Rehabilitation Research, or NIDLER. NIDLER is a grant-making agency that funds research to generate new knowledge and to promote its effective use to improve the abilities of people with disabilities to perform activities of their choice in the community. NIDLER is a center in the Administration for Community Living, or ACL, at the Department of Health and Human Services. Over 40 years, NARIC has grown to one of the largest collections focused on disability, independent living, and rehabilitation research. We have also grown in our products and services, connecting people with disabilities and others to the resources they need to support full participation in the community. Our goals for this presentation today are to tell you more about our services and how they may be helpful to you in your work. We'll show you how to find information about the work of the Nidler grantee community and how to find research literature from our collection, both from the Nidler community and from the broader disability-related research community, including international research. We'll show you how to find useful consumer-oriented information products developed by the Nidler community and how to stay on, up to date on what the field is producing. NARIC maintains information about the projects funded by NIDLER. We maintain the NIDLER program database, which I'll cover in a moment. We also collect the material the projects produce and, can, and index it in our collection. Our collection is fairly unique in that it concentrates on disability-related literature. About half of the collection consists of peer-reviewed journal articles. Another significant portion consists of other kinds of research publications, primarily from NIDLER-funded projects, but also from other federally funded sources. These include, but are not limited to, final reports, technical reports, guides and curricula, fact sheets, and multimedia items, many unique items unavailable elsewhere. The collection also includes books from commercial publishers, such as textbooks, reference volumes, and books written by and for people with disabilities and caregivers. We serve as a dissemination point for disability, independent living, and rehabilitation research and literature, both from our collection and new information from the Nidler community. We offer free and low-cost document delivery to the general public from our collection. We provide information and referral services through a toll-free information line, as well as web and email. Our patrons include people with disabilities, older adults, caregivers, educators, administrators, rehabilitation and independent living professionals, and so on. We also promote the work of the Nidler community through our own publications, presentations at conferences, weekly and monthly email alerts, and through our social media channels. One of our functions is to provide information services to anyone who contacts us. We assist patrons in English and Spanish by phone, email, web, social media, and even mail. We provide information from our collection or publications like our librarians' picks info sheets. We also point patrons to other reliable online information to answer their questions, such as facilities finders from SAMHSA or Medicare, or the resource centers like the 211s or the Paralysis Center. Whenever appropriate, we refer someone to a NIDLER funded center or project, such as the ADA National Network Regional Centers, who can provide specific information, training, and technical assistance on issues related to the ADA, or a research and training center in a specific area or topic. Examples of our information services would include a person whose parent has had a stroke and will be leaving acute rehabilitation who may want to know if there's any information available about how to manage the living situation. For that person, we might send our stroke resource brochure, research-based fact sheets on different aspects of managing stroke at home, and recommendations for contacting local stroke resources. A business owner may be looking for information on improving access to their facilities, and we'll send them information from our collection on universal design and refer them to the ADA regional centers. 
Another example is a rehabilitation counselor who may want information on new or emerging programs in vocational rehabilitation, and we may refer them to the Rehabilitation Research and Training Center on evidence-based practice in vocational rehabilitation, which is funded by Neidler. I want to note that we do not offer any kind of medical advice, diagnoses, counseling, recommendations, or ratings of any kind, nor do we offer any kind of case management. NARIC maintains information about the current and past projects funded by NIDLER in the NIDLER program database, which is available and searchable on our website. The database contains more than 2,800 project records with complete information from 1993 to present, as well as some data for projects funded before 1993. The database is keyword searchable and you can browse through it. Every record includes contact information, a description of project goals and activities, and a website and social media links. Every project record is also linked to related content from that project indexed in our collection database. This is a quick look at the front page of our website at www.naric.com. You are welcome to open your browser and go to www.naric.com to follow along while the video continues. I'm going to switch to my browser to demonstrate the basic and advanced search functions. This is our main page at naric.com. Here you can use a keyword search to explore our website and publications we generate, including our weekly publications which are archived here. The main piece I want to point out here is the search box in the middle of the screen. I will be demonstrating some advanced search features in this presentation, but you can always run quick keyword searches by using this form on our main page. Just enter your keywords and select the type of search you want. NARIC web pages, abstracts of research literature, information on NIDLER funded projects, or organizations that support people with disabilities. I will run a quick keyword search here for the term autism. Since we will be talking about NIDLER funded projects next, I'm going to select projects conducting research and or development, NIDLER program database, the third radio button, and press enter. This quick search looks anywhere in the database record for that word, and you can see we came up with 47 project records displayed in a brief report sorted chronologically with the current active projects sorted to the top and completed projects sorted to the bottom. You can quickly see that Project 10 and on have completed their research activities. So that was a very quick keyword search. But you can also narrow or expand your search using the advanced search options for each of the databases. I'm going to click on the Research Projects tab at the top right of the navigation bar to go to the Advanced Search Options page for the NIDLER program database. Here you can search for keywords, phrases, or omit words. You have the option to limit your search to view only current or new projects or completed projects or all of the projects. You can choose how to sort the results by start date, project number, project title, or state. And you can opt to search specific fields, such as project number, title or abstract, descriptor, investigator, or officer name. If you're interested in projects funded in a specific time period, you can look for projects funded from a specific year going forward. You can also search by project outcome domains or funding mechanisms. On the left side of the screen, you can see browse options, which offer a great way to get an overview of the current activities of the grantee community. You can see the newest projects, browse by outcome domains, which organize current projects by outcome domains from NIDLER's long range plan. These outcome domains are employment outcomes, health and function, technology for access and function, community living and participation, Disability Demographics, Knowledge Translation, ADA National Networks, and Capacity Building for Rehabilitation Research and Training.
I'm going to click on Community Living and Participation by Title for a brief list. This list displays the project title, city and state, and a clickable project number. Click the project number to see an individual project record. This displays details for the individual project, including funding levels and a description of activities. You can use the detailed report link to see details for all of these projects at once. These reports are organized similar to the printed program directory, so you can view all of these projects as a chapter, including full descriptions of project activities. You can also browse by funding mechanism which organizes the projects by types, such as the Model Spinal Cord Injury Centers, the Rehabilitation Research and Training Centers, and the Disability and Rehabilitation Research Projects. As with the outcome domains, you can view a brief report with a list of project titles and links to individual records, or you can view all of the projects in a category as one chapter. I'm going to go back and run a sample search so you can see how to narrow or expand your search. As an example search, let's say you wanted to see what NIDLR funded research has been done in the area of disability in rural communities in the last five years. I'm going to enter the word rural in the all the words field, and I'm going to select a range of years for my search. From the minimum start date, I'm going to select October, and 2012. And then I'll click search. So I get a report with six results, five currently active projects and one that's complete. The report shows the project name, the city and state, and the project number. If you want to learn more about any of these projects, you can either click the detailed page report to see the details for all of these results as they would appear in our printed program directory, or to get an in-depth information about an individual project, click on the project number. I'm going to click on the number for the Rehabilitation Research and Training Center on Disability in Rural Communities. That's 90RT5025. And from here, you can get the full record, including the institution and contact information, websites and social media channels, an abstract describing project goals and activities, funding levels, and NIDLR officer information. You can also see a list of any publications NARIC may hold from this project in our collection. Each of these links goes to an abstract in our collection database. You may notice that some projects like this one have two project numbers. These are projects that were funded by NIDLR when it was part of the Department of Education prior to October of 2014. We include both numbers in the record. For more information about this, click on the About Grant Numbers link. Our collection holds more than 200,000 records of research literature centered around disability, independent living and rehabilitation, the core of the collection comes from the Nidler grantee community, but over the 40 years of collecting materials, we expanded our acquisitions to the wider research community. The collection is made up of journal articles from the grantee community and the larger research community, reports and other types of products, including multimedia, from projects funded by Nidler for the most part, but also some other agencies and nonprofit organizations, and then commercially published books in this area. The, the collection spans the spectrum of disability and across the lifespan. And the collection spans about 60 years, with the oldest document published about 1955. Everything in our collection is indexed, and abstracts are searchable on our website. The collection is also international in scope. As of 2015, we incorporated citations of international literature into the collection, and we continue to add new citations of international literature each year. Obtaining documents from our collection is easy. Some items are available to download and others may be ordered at low cost.